Simmons. I'm a rider for Team Eye Candy, and we are here in Wellington at Eye Candy Land. A typical day here is never boring. Uh, usually busy, we get the horses out straight away. Riding, we're really lucky to have beautiful places to ride, a massive grass ring, a really nice sand ring, and ebb and flow system. We're lucky to be here. We're super close to the horse show. It makes getting back and forth convenient, and most days would be a balance of both of those as well. So for the horses, most of them would get turned out first thing in the morning. They would go out basically for as long as each horse is happy out there. We also have the walker, and obviously we get riding relatively early in the morning as well, so kind of depending on when the horses are getting ridden, when they're maybe showing, would kind of inform the planning for some of those other pieces of like maybe when they go in the walker, maybe that's in the afternoon to you know, get them moving and kind of space out their exercise. But definitely we like to get them out first thing in the morning when it's coolest and nicest. The oval walker was a little bit of a splurge, which I guess it should be a lot better for the horses. A little bit the concern with walkers potentially is that the horses are always on a continuous circle. They're always bending, potentially putting a little bit of strain on themselves. And so with the oval, they obviously turn a little bit, but then they have stretches where they're traveling straight as well, um, which is you know good for their bodies and especially mixing up the direction as well. This is our first set of cross ties. This is kind of for the stallion specifically. Um, most of the horses would go over here, but we like to have a secluded option for them, keep them no drama. Over here, we start coming into where the horses are getting ready, getting bathed. We have a large section of cross ties here so they can be out drying, getting ready for the next horses. This is our tack room now. Bridles for each horse, organized. Same with the boots, they're all separated, pretty organized. We built this for the bits to make it a little bit easier to find what you're looking for, not rifling through some of the old school bit boxes. I think that works well for us. Uh, that's Casey, she spends most of her days chilling here. There's usually about a dozen dogs on the property. This is uh, mine and my husband's dog, Casey. Uh, the Hatfields, I think, have about five dogs of their own, plus a few cats down. Almost every groom has one, if not more, dogs, so they add up quickly. I'm gonna jump in uh, and you guys can follow me. We can take a look out at the field and the rest of the stuff outside now. So we're heading now over to the round pen. Uh, we have quite a few young horses here and a couple that, you know, we had to work through some things with as well. So the round pen's been really useful for that, uh, giving us another training tool. Uh, so this is the round pen. It gets used a lot for the young horses, whether that's lunging or um, actually a lot of groundwork as well. Uh, you know, kind of some of those cowboy principles of join up and kind of building those connections as well. Uh, we're heading up to the ring now. It's a giant size ring. It's built in with an ebb and flow system, so there's no need to ever have sprinklers running on it. The pumps maintain the water level perfectly all the time. Yeah, this is where most of our work happens. This is one of the nicest spots to watch as the horses are working, uh, especially with as hot as it gets, being in the shade um, and having the breeze kind of come across the whole field is really nice. I think the biggest thing that works really well here is this gets to be our home base for a long time. Um, through the summer, you know, there's so much travel, the horses are constantly going. They get some downtime, obviously, but they don't really have a home base in the same way, whereas here, for basically six months, they get to stay in one spot. I think it's a really relaxing spot for the horses. I think the barn itself, they enjoy. You know, they get to see their friends, they get to watch what's happening in the cross ties, what we're up to. So I think that's something that works really well, and a little bit, I think, that's the benefit of the winter is, yes, they're busy competing, we're still pursuing those goals, but they mentally kind of get some downtime and get to kind of take a breath. Mm -hmm.